Welcome to the how-to series for TELUS Business Connect for Auto Receptionist and Standard Edition. As the Office Administrator, proceed to Phone System Programming. The first thing you need to do is check your phone numbers and how they route through the system. Any company number can be pointed to the Auto Receptionist by clicking on the number, then clicking on Auto Receptionist, then Saving. Anything that sits inside company numbers has two choices. They can point directly to the auto receptionist or to select an extension. This applies to DIDs as well. The local company number is fixed. It is directed to the auto receptionist. Its routing is controlled by the auto receptionist under company call handling. Once you have the phone numbers established that you want to point to auto receptionist, proceed. Now to the auto receptionist. In single level auto receptionist, start with company hours. This will base your company hours during working and after hours. The daytime greeting is based on your office hours. You would select your office hours from the drop-down menu, whatever that may be, then copy them to the days of the week so they all match. If your company is open seven days a week, then you will choose Saturday and Sunday as well. Once that is complete, then save your settings. Then move down to company call handling and proceed to point your calls to the auto receptionist during company hours and after hours if required. Save these settings. Once those settings are in place, your company greetings will then take effect and you will want to record your daytime greeting and potentially your nighttime greeting. Your daytime greeting will be set up with a default message which is actually text-to-speech and has a canned greeting. It is very basic and does not have a lot of description built in and has no options for pressing 1 or pressing 2. You will want to customize your greetings by recording a new one. Once you press the record button, you will be presented with three choices to place these recordings into Auto Receptionist. The first is over the phone. You would input a phone number or select from the drop down menu if it applies to your particular user profile. You can put any 10 digit phone number and then the system will call you. Once you record that greeting, it will then show up in the window below. The other methods are to use a co computer microphone, which would require a USB headset or USB microphone. You would press the record button and record that greeting. Third method is to have the recording of your scripts professionally recorded by a studio and having those uploaded into the system as a WAV or an MP3 file. Once you have your recorded messages in place for your daytime greeting, you will want to repeat these steps for the after hours greetings with sorry we're closed with options like dial an extension number or for the company directory press 9 and so on, only if this applies. Inside your company greetings, you will want to include things like for sales press 1, for service press 2. They will point to group extension numbers that are associated with those departments or they will point to individuals. In this example, group programming has the extension numbers that makes up these choices. Once you have your company call handling and your greetings set up, the next item is to look at your dial by name directory. There are a couple of options here, activate or deactivate globally. Also, you can tell the system who or what is included inside the company directory that can actually be spelled out. You can pull out or push in any of these users or groups that you may or need included. Announce only mailbox, message only mailbox, etc. can also be included. Once that is saved, the next thing to look at is your directory extension number. This is defaulted to 9. Press 9 can be adjusted to fit your dialing plan. When you select sorting, select first name or last name. Your auto receptionist will recite, please spell the first few letters of the person's first or last name. Then you will establish your operator extension. Your operator extension can be an individual user, for example, extension 113, extension 114, or extension 101, etc. Or it can point to a group queue. In this example, the group queue has a number of users built as the operator group. 
One last thing to verify, now that the auto receptionist is fully programmed, verify your regional settings. That is where your company hours coincide with the time zone that you reside in. If your company is on the west coast, use specific time. If you are on the east coast or in Atlantic, you will use Eastern Standard Time or Atlantic Time. Your auto receptionist is now fully functional. Thank you.